everybody and welcome back to my channel. You'll have to excuse my voice today. This today we're going to go through a gluten-free recipe that my family calls spagagna. And it's a mixture of spaghetti, but we've added some lasagna elements to it. And this actually came about from my youngest son he wanted to cook with me one night and he started grabbing stuff out of the cabinets. He loves spaghetti, so he got spaghetti sauce and noodles. And I had some ricotta cheese, I pulled that out. It's a perfect weeknight meal. And if you love lasagna, this kind of gives you the same taste of lasagna, but without all the trouble. This time I actually made it with no meat. So this is a vegetarian option but other times we make it, we throw some ground beef in there. So feel free to change it up and add whatever else you want to. I just wanted to show you the basic steps to making this recipe, and then you can feel free to make it your own. You're gonna start this recipe simply by filling up an oven safe boiler with water, bringing that to a bowl, and pouring in whatever gluten-free noodles you wanna use. This is just what we had, and you just want to boil it according to what it says on the package. Here I'm making some gluten-free garlic knots to go with it, and this recipe will be coming soon on my YouTube channel. It was really, really good. So once your noodles are done, I find that I like to cook mine a little longer than the package shows. And then when they're finished, I like to rinse all the starch off of them with cold water. And that seems to make my noodles not have that gummy texture that you'll sometimes get from gluten-free noodles. So that's my tip that I can give you as far as that goes. I pour my noodles back into the pan, add my pasta sauce, give it a stir, and kind of bring it back up to a low simmer at this point. Next, I'm going to make my ricotta mixture, and I'm just gonna use about half of this small container of ricotta, and I'm going to add some salt, one egg, and a few twists of black pepper. I wanna mix that up really well and you'll see how smooth and creamy it is. Next, you're simply just going to take big spoonfuls of your ricotta mixture and nestle it down into the pasta until you use all of it. There's no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of spreading it around evenly. The last thing you're gonna do is add your cheese to the top. I had some mozzarella and then also an Italian blend, so I put some of both of that on the top. And after that, you're just gonna add a little bit of pepper, put it in the oven at 350 until the top is golden brown and it's bubbling all throughout the dish. This is definitely something that our family will be making very often. Everybody loved it. It's creamy, it's warm, and the garlic knots just added just that little something extra to it. That's so good. You good? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, these are good too. stopping by my channel today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I post videos about homemaking, DIY, and from scratch recipes. Take a few minutes to check out some of my other videos for some meal inspiration and some other DIY ideas that you